audience asked some questions in a few minutes, but first we'll have a bit of a conversation here. Let me begin by asking Akhna, uh, this may be that I'm not in the, I'm not in the uh, part of the age group of the Jazeera uh, talk. You said that uh, not, you were, you're producing there not just breaking news, but more in-depth analytical news. I've always thought of a winning strategy for media companies, newspapers, magazines, would, would be to put the who, what, why, and when on the web, or not the why, who, what, where, and when in the web, and the why on paper, because it takes a lot more time. I frankly, maybe it's my eyes, I can't sit in front of a, a screen and read a, a 3,000 word analysis or, or something. But you find your readers are able to do that? We call it كان الموضوع سهل جدا بان انا بتم اعداد بعض الدورات التدريبيه سواء اونلاين او عبر استخدامي او عبر جزيرة مركز الجزيره التدريب او غيره من المراكز المتعاونه وبالتالي كان سهل جدا ان ينقلوا هذه الاخطاء. الان مدى مصداقيه او مدى يعني مسؤوليه هذه الاخطاء هي تعتمد على الصوره او ننقل صوره او ننقل مشاهدات وهذا هو التدريب في النهايه. يعني نحن ننقل الصوره فقط ونحاول ان نعلمهم معنى الموضوعيه كيف يكون موضوعيا كيف تكون لديهم اصلاحيه آه وبالتالي بعد بعد فتره من الزمن بعد شهر او شهرين هو يصبح ينافس الاعلاميين الحقيقيين. Yes, yes. Uh, according to the uh, yeah. news uh, sent out as a bulletin or as an alert, uh, according to what the uh, editor of the uh, shift, of the shift deems uh, as worthy of the deeds. Do you put long analysis? Uh, as a, of course, there are on the site uh, long analyses, but not as great news, obviously. I mean, breaking news is sent out as, uh, as SMS. Uh, text or as uh, flashes on, on, on user screens, it's mainly one sentence long, linked to a story which is developing. So as the story develops, the link uh, obviously gives you more, more detail. That's the best. But while I was, I, I was interested, you said that the uh, principal use of uh, the internet in, in this region is for email. I should tell you that. My students think email is like yesterday. It's text that they don't read your email. It's, it's, if you don't send it to them by text, they don't get it. Well, well it depends. Uh, text messaging is quite popular, actually, especially in, in Europe and uh, outside North America. But uh, even email, uh, when people are using Facebook or, uh, or other social network sites, uh, they might not use a uh, specific email address of their work or their personal email address, but actually uh, Facebook itself becomes their email media. And, uh, and I, ha I have a comment on user-generated content. I think it's uh, one of the most hyped, overhyped uh, catchphrases, if you will, because uh, user-generated content, I think, is, is most appealing, uh, uh, as Leonard said, when it comes to the personal when people want to be in touch with uh, their friends, family, social circles, and what have you. This is where user-generated content is, is most appealing. But uh, user-generated content for entertainment, I would not want to spend three hours on YouTube trying to find something nice. I'll just go to some, some brand name which I know produces good quality entertainment. I'll go House or, uh, or Seinfeld or what have you. These are brands, that's the importance of brands. So, user generated content uh, to replace entertainment or to replace professional newspaper uh, or professional, let, let's not they say newspaper, professional media brands uh, that you know you can trust their objectivity, their analysis, and they, they, you know their biases too. It's always important to, when you watch in, uh, a channel or when you watch uh, a certain media to know their biases to filter it out. 
So it's uh, uh, user-generated content good in the personal uh, space. It will not kill professional media organizations. It might pressure them a bit more. It might help them uh, by feeding into the into the analysis. For entertainment, it's agonizing, I think, to, to watch YouTube with uh, all those wannabe comedians on the track. <laughs> Well, clearly, search, the magic of search, but that's what it would develop, uh, helps people find stuff to do. Does the research indicate that people look first for the brand and they get the search uh, list? Uh, frankly, I cannot, I cannot even include a, a, a conclusive answer on this, but I think if brands were not important, people would not, uh, organizations would not be so uh, interested in, in making sure their brands stand up. So even even in user generated content, it's it's usually the brands that catch people's attention unless masses of people have filtered it out uh, and basically became uh, recommended it to the end users. In YouTube, for example, the type, the number the number of uh, times a certain video has been viewed that's usually an indication of that might be something worth looking at. So that's why they have the most watched and so on. But it's uh, it's it's the uh, the long tail phenomena, where basically uh, less than five or six percent of, of the content is what most people watch, and then you have huge long tail where videos are watched 100 or 150 times or 300 times throughout their life cycle. So it's not a threat to the producers of, of good blockbuster movies or good drama series or good music, whatever. Another question for you. Uh, Said there's a freedom quote, the freedom, media freedom, a lot less in this region, and, and you guys set out to challenge that. Um, but your your signal is blocked in Saudi Arabia. So you can't get in. Are you getting anything out of Saudi Arabia? Are there young people there sending you stuff, or do they not know you exist? Of the society. 